Hello my friends, this is Gladys from Gladys Garden in Heart of a Gypsy. Thanks all of you for stopping to my channel. I have a project shared today with you guys that um, it's going to be another class that is coming up in uh, July. And this is going to be in my local scrapbook store here in Payson, Arizona. And it's called Paper and Metal Scrappers. This is the same book that I've created a little earlier that I've shown you before. And this was my DT entry for Tsunami Rose Designs. Well, they liked it a lot, so they decided that we went ahead and have a little class on that. So now I'm using uh, uh, Prima Paper Something Blue. So that's what this um, um, album is going to be called. So it's called Something Blue Tall uh, File Folder Album. And then I put the words here, excuse me, pay, um, perfect memories. And let me see if I can grab my, this hat of paper so you guys can see it. So it's going to be this one right here. And I used absolutely the whole thing, even though I, it may look like it wouldn't take the whole thing, but it did. <laughs> all of it, including all the stickers that it comes with. And it comes with a lot of the uh, greeting cards and things of that nature. And you'll see them in a little bit. So it's the same thing as the other one. It measures, I believe, 10, 10 and a half by 8 by eight ten and a half by eight so it's a pretty tall album and um, I did the same thing I did with the other one I went ahead and put the, the lace over it with a little bit of the um, uh, you know oh, not, not rhinestones but um, glitter I'm, I'm losing it glitter in there so you can see a little bit there you can see the glitter so it's not overwhelming but just enough to give it a little bit of oomph to the project i created a, a belly band or belt for the book by putting two eyelets in here the top one is to insert uh, just a tiny bit of a or a little charm that i created using the primus uh, charms and also a coca-cola bottle uh, cap charm and then i put a little flower like a resin flower over it then on this one, I used one of those uh, Primus charms also with some more extra Primus charms. And then I made this little one with one of those, um, like a mailing tag or something. And then I put a little bit of uh, like a small piece of doily with a pearl, um, flat back pearl in the center. So just anything that um, gives it a little bit of a different look. I love the paper collection and I'm not normally... Um, I'm not, not normal uh, for, well, not, not, I am not normal, but that's not what I'm trying to say. Then normally, oh my goodness, then normally these are not the colors. I like them a little bit um, stronger colors, and these ones are very muted, uh, but very pretty, you know. And there was some grunchiness, not, not a lot. I didn't use any of stains or distress inks in this uh, project. All right, so let's open it up. This is part of the collection too. I cut it out and then I, this was stickers. I said perfect memories. And then I put some little banners in there and I put a tag in there. So it's the same thing as the last video that you've seen. I made, and I'm trying to keep in frame here and I have, I'm zoomed out all the way so I don't know what else to do. All these are the cards that come with it. They're really, really pretty. So there's lots of opportunity for you to journal and to add more cards. This one's come together. Yeah, I guess you can cut them, but I thought of making them into a little booklet. And then I would just put them everywhere. And then I created a little pocket there. And then um, each page that has only one pocket on the bottom will have a huge mat. The Yusami do on the other one. These are 10 by 7s right here. And then you can do big pictures. This is myself and my husband's wedding picture. And let's see. Then I did some decorations with the stickers in there. And, and this album, I just put family members and pictures that have been handed down to me by family members, by my parents. Um, I have to say some of them, like this guy, I don't know who he is. But um, I use them in a lot in my um, in my work. Do you see how big of a pictures you can put in? There's a mat in there, pocket here. This is a double pocket um, pockets right here, two in here. And not only do they have you know the pictures, but I also made mats for this little one. Something that I did not do for my previous um, album. So 
So I'm not going to pull all of them out because I don't want to make this video very long. But there's a pocket here and then the huge mat in here. Another pocket on this side. You can put pictures and then there's the mats for both of them. So that's the double pocket page. And this is another single pocket. And this is my grandmother here. Another big uh, mat in there. Some more. I made this little one right here and I just inserted right there. And again, I was trying to utilize the shape of the file folders, just taking advantage of them. Um, and they just kind of um, bring a little extra something to the look of the album. This is my dad when he was a boy on a school dance. This is another mat. And we keep going. I added this this two papers. These are from a different collection, I don't know. Uh, but I just didn't have enough papers um, because this is a 12 by 12 and the ones you're going to get in the class, it's the um, A4, I believe. Uh, you have a little bit more papers on that one, but it'll be covered. But I was looking for things that would match. So big mat, these are my parents. This was an aunt of mine. And this is a double pocket here and each one would have its inserts. And then this is also a big old mat here, and I don't have any pictures in here. So it's the same thing as the last one that I've showed you. I just wanted to, um, you know, give you a little bit of a reference. And I believe this one, I believe it's July, July 21st. I could be missing, or 26. It's the 26th, July 26th. But I, I'll i be checking that out and um, check my um, information below. That's why I'll have all the links for you to call and sign up for this class. And uh, it's just a one one day. So just hope I can, sh I, I was hoping I can just share this with you, and I did. So I hope you liked it. And I guess we will talk to you guys soon. Again, this is my file folder it's called something blue file tall file folder photo album i hope you can join me in the class okay you guys take care uh, enjoy the pictures uh, coming up okay take care bye